Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Love and Wonders Tarot. This is your about last night reading where I take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck along with the Double Major Tarot deck. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position. So let's get started Sagittarius. Okay Sagittarius, today this card represents the overall energy between you and your person. These cards represent your person, and I have an advice card here for you as well. So the overall energy between you and your person is uh, number four, rest and rejuvenate. So this comes from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And this is about, you know, taking a step back, um, taking a step back from a situation that was emotionally and mentally uh, taxing on you. Just, it drains you, okay? So you see this uh, person on this card, uh, they've... They're in the middle of the forest somewhere. They're away from everyone and they're meditating. They're trying to get their mind uh, back in balance, okay? They're trying to get back in balance. So I feel like Sagittarius, you know, this, you are taking a step back. It's temporary. This doesn't mean that it's permanent. I feel like you're just taking a step back from a situation that was a little bit too much for you. All right, let's look at your person. The first two cards represent their, their thought, represent, I cannot talk, represents their thoughts and feelings about you. In this situation, um, they have the King of Wands. Now, this comes from, or these cards come from the um, Double Major Tarot deck, and there's two versions of the Court cards and the Major Arcana cards. You got the second version of the King of Wands, and you see on this card, the King of Wands is trying to get this staff into the ground, but the ground is hard. So, the King of Wands is about fun and excitement and freedom, and so this person, I feel that represents you what you used to have with this person they're trying to get this staff back into the ground which rep represents you you've taken a step back this person is probably saying okay what's going on sagittarius let's go have fun like we used to um maybe this you know whatever you had going on with this person was a little bit too much so they can't get they can't get that staff into the ground they can't get you to move okay what you and this person had before it was too much and you know they they feel it they know that you are um you know, not hanging out anymore. You're not trying to be around them anymore for some reason. Um, they also have the Page of Swords, the second version of the Page of Swords. So this is about communication. So I feel like this is you and your person. This person is trying to contact you. This person wants to call you. This person is trying to text you and you're not responding to this person's communication with this second version of the Page of Swords. This is about arguing. Maybe you and your person have argued um, and had disagreements and different things like that and just got bad. Again, this is about recovering from something that's emotionally draining for you. So I feel like, yeah, this person is probably just tagging you back and forth with, with uh, text messages, trying to call you, email you, however they communicate with you, okay? And it's just not positive. This person is being hurt. They feel hurt because you're not, um, you know, reciprocating that communication. Again, this person is all about fun and excitement. If this was a, um, a, a relationship that was physical, there's no more of that going on. Again, you've taken a step back. It was just too much. It's too draining for you. All right, let's look at your person's intentions toward you and this connection. They have judgment and the king of cups. So I'm going to start with judgment. This is about, let's talk it over. This person wants to talk, talk it over and figure out what went wrong okay they want um to get back together um with you they want to reconcile um this is about a resurrection so whatever is dead they want to bring it back to life okay that's their intentions okay let's talk about what went wrong what's going on how come you don't want to see me anymore um because this person still loves you this person is you know looks at you like okay this they've chosen you they feel like you know you're the one who keeps them emotionally stable um, this, the King of Cups is like, okay, they know who they want to be with, they, they, with their heart and their head. So this person, I feel like is going to strategize and try to figure out how to get you back. Okay. This person is going to say, let's talk, let's talk it over. Let's see what's going on. I still love you. Okay. Um, I still want to be with you with, you know, so yeah, I do feel like, yeah, if I look at this judgment at the judgment card and the page of swords, this person is really you know, trying to like pressure you into talking to them. Um, but again, you're not having it. All right, you're not having it right now. 
Let's look at the obstacles that are preventing this connection from moving forward. So you have the um, traditional version of the Page of Swords, so this is about communication, okay? And then you have the second version of the Tower. So again, we know something went wrong, something is broken, the Tower has fallen, has burned down. And we see that because you're taking a step back, right? So this person wants to be like this giant, this person wants to fix this situation, okay? They wanna fix it, they wanna to talk to you, they wanna communicate with you. So when we look at this as obstacles, this means the obstacle is that you don't wanna to talk to them, there's no communication right now, you don't wanna take their calls, you don't wanna answer their text messages and you don't want to fix this right now okay so these are you know obvious obstacles and i love it because they correspond with what we already talked about um let's see the bottom of the deck for your person is the devil it's the second version of the devil oh i'm gonna go ahead and pull the next card down as well which is the hermit so i feel like this person knows like they're panicking because they know that you have tamed your wild side whatever you and this person were doing they know that you have control over it and they are the devil you know for you so now they know that you are able to keep them at bay okay you're doing your own thing right now and this person realizes that you have you know taken a step back and you're silent you're giving this person a silent treatment right now this her hermit card so again Sagittarius this is not permanent you know maybe when you come out of the forest maybe you can you can communicate with this person and let them know you know what's going on so let's see what your advice card is. It's um, Passion Ignited, and this comes from the uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And this is, let's see, the same as the, I believe in traditional tarot decks, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is about bringing new fun and excitement and adventure into your life. So it doesn't necessarily mean going back to this person. It means, you know, find something new that, you know, ignites your, your fire and your energy. Again, this person, Kind of had the devil energy with you so maybe this is telling you um you know when you come out of this forest you don't necessarily have to go back to this person look for something new that gets you going okay if, especially if this person was a bad influence on you but if not it's also saying it's okay to go ahead and you know have fun with this person okay but just know your boundaries know your boundaries you know pay attention to what you learned when you were in the forest meditating all right but i'm truly getting that it's more of you know, find other things that excite you. Maybe whatever action was going on between you and this person, maybe it was too much. Obviously, you had to take a step back from this person and kind of shade them for a little for a little bit. So only you know what you want to do, and you do what you do. Like I always say, I don't judge on my channel. You know, I'm just reading these cards. All right, Sagittarius. So um, that's what I am getting. That's what I'm getting right now. Um, Good luck with this situation. Um, I do wish you the best of luck and I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.